Transform worked with the City of Whitehorse to improve their source-separated composting facility to operate more consistently throughout the year, particularly during the winter, reduce the space required for composting, allowing more material to be received and composted, reduce operations and maintenance costs associated with the windrow turning process, and eliminate most of the concern of plastic blowing everywhere. Whitehorse is home to approximately 25,000 people and is the largest city in the Yukon. The climate is a northern Canadian climate with an average January temperature of minus 15 degrees Celsius and plus 14 degrees Celsius in July. Annual precipitation is 260 millimeters of which 60% is rain. Most of the rain falls during the months of June through September. Whitehorse has been separating and composting food scraps and household organics for a number of years. Even though the use of plastic bags is discouraged, film plastic still finds its way to the compost pile. Before 2013, this organic waste was piled into large windrows for some initial breakdown, then windrow composted for at least one year. The windrow composting process required a lot of space. The plastic in the composting material would wrap around the compost turner drum or blow away, and the small windrows would freeze during the winter. All of these factors made the composting process less efficient. Transform made two recommendations. The first was to use an aerated windrow process with up to 30 foot wide and 14 foot high windrows that would require less space, less mechanical turning, and retain heat better during the winter months. The second was to use a Supreme Enviro processor to break open compostable and non-compostable bags and then shred and blend the food waste with the bulking agent. The food scraps are dumped by the organic waste trucks in a contained area on the compost pad. The loader scoops this material along with the bulking agent into the mixer. The bulking agent may be a combination of yard waste and separated compost overs. The mixer is a twin vertical screw mixer that can process approximately six tons of a blend of composting material at a time. The mixer is powered by a 120 horsepower farm tractor. The screws in the mixer have very aggressive knives and turn at about 40 RPM. Sometimes materials that don't compost very well and that could damage equipment end up in the yard waste, such as this engine block pictured here. Fortunately, there was only damage to a few of the knives in the mixer. The cutting action of the mixer breaks open the plastic bags without shredding the plastic into small bits that are difficult to screen out. The shredded bits of plastic are small enough that they do not hinder the composting process. The blended material is then discharged from the mixer and piled on the aerated windrows to begin the composting process. The composted material achieves temperatures of up to 80 degrees Celsius and is turned at least once during the composting process to allow all of the material to be exposed to the temperatures required for potential pathogen kill. After the compost is cured, the compost is screened to one quarter inch using a Vermeer trommel screener with a stainless steel mesh. The resulting compost is a clean, high quality organic material that is much sought after in the northern communities where there is not much topsoil and there's an increasing interest in local sustainable food production. The City of Whitehorse is planning future upgrades that include an aerated concrete pad for the composting windrows, as well as a computer-controlled aeration and temperature monitoring process using wireless temperature probes. Transform is honored to have been part of this compost facility upgrade.